Hey YouTube, Rocket League's been working hard and they have an actual update for the game. I didn't think we were getting many more of these, but uh, kicking it off here at the tail end of the year with yet another one. If you guys haven't seen the post, this one's going to be dropping today when this video comes out. We're not exactly sure on the time. We'll bring it down for y'all. Uh, but Rocket League has made it public that there is a new feature coming in, which is a Rocket League match history and web player profile. Uh, if you guys do not know what this is, or you guys aren't experienced with this, there is a website by the name of RL Tracker, where if you take somebody's either Epic Games name, or if you find their their uh, Steam ID, you can plug it in, and it'll populate all the information for the player. It'll talk about their win loss record, their stat averages. It gives them this is how you are as a performer, and blah blah blah. And it basically allows you to track their live MMR. You can do this also, of course, previous seasons. So you can go to every other season for me and be like, wow, Lalo doesn't play at all. But it's like, wait, he's still GC every season. How? I thought he sucks. I thought he has no mechanic. I guess I lost at this one. Uh, but like you can go back the beginning of time and be like, you know what? Lalo's been in GC for a long time. And I go, yeah, that's basically how it goes. I play my whatever matches I need to get my rewards. And then I log off and I'm done. But the cool thing now is we can do that in game. So if you guys haven't seen the blog post, first and foremost, this graphic actually goes pretty hard. Uh, I don't know who this track record is, but they're like, yeah, people totally play chaos. Liar. No one plays chaos. Uh, jokes aside, I do think having this in game is a nice feature. I think what they're trying to do and what they're trying to do is take some of the features that we know and love and have been using for a really long time and say, rather than going to third party apps and stuff, let us provide it in game for everyone. While it feels like a little bit too little too late, it definitely feels like a Rocket League 2.0 update where it's like they are trying to provide features that should have been in Rocket League all along. But after now 10 years of seeing all these other community things pop up, let's try to implement them. They did that with obviously the um, the D-pad stuff that Bakasma did for like resetting the ball. And you're starting to see some of those things happen more frequently where in-game updates, it seems like they're putting a pretty large emphasis on it because you can't change the way the game is played and them putting in new content seems like somewhat impossible at this point outside of cosmetics and maps. So you might as well focus on the core things that make us enjoy the game. Uh, obviously the replay uh, updates and stuff like that have been nice, but the biggest one being the, uh, the nameplate boost meters. I think that update was absolutely perfection. Obviously they did the voice stuff and I'm just trying to go back through the history, but there's a lot of things that still need updating for sure, or just need that kind of next step up. Club Q win. I'm going to keep asking for it. Uh, with that in mind, this will be dropping on the 22nd, as they stated. And there's going to be two ways of doing this. Number one, if you do, they're going to give you your match history of the 20 most recent matches up to 30 days. So that's what this page is. You can scroll through whether it is a competitive match or casual, what type of game mode, when it happened, uh, if you were the MVP or not, and then the actual results. And if you highlight it, it'll give you more specifics about how you performed, how long, where, all that kind of stuff. All this is obviously uh, hard coded into the game. It's easily tracked. So now they're just displaying it in a pretty way. Um, I don't know if it is going to save your last 30 replays by default. Uh, but the cool thing about this, while you're scrolling through these, you can click a button that says, hey, go to save replay, or you can even watch the replay which is pretty cool too. So some of these things are pretty dope. It seems like, and I'm, I'm going to agree with Mertz here, from the feelings of things, I do think it is an auto-save replay from the, la the last 30 replays. The only concern I have is, will it delete and replace those replays? Because what happens if there's a replay that I shot this thing and I want to save it for like a video or a montage or whatever? Not talking about me. You guys are never going to see that out of me. But what if I wanted to save something like that and all of a sudden it gets replaced because it becomes outdated or old? That's what I hope doesn't happen, but uh, they do have a saved replays tab at the top. I don't know if you have the ability to check or choose which ones do or don't go away. Um, alongside that, you will then also have a player profile, and these are going to be online on their website. You guys remember that new website that they said was going to be the must-go-to place, the place where you want to be on game day, even though we still have yet to see any esports implementation that makes us want to leave Liquipedia? Well, here's something that has nothing to do with that. That is an update, which, like I said, they're taking that tracker website and printing it up and putting it on their website. You can link your accounts and stuff to it. Um, but this one going to be an official update and an official uh, representation of Psyonix. So the cool thing about that is hopefully they give us a little bit more information. Uh, it gets updated faster and it runs smoother as well because this is coming directly 
from the developer's API. They're not going through third party or getting permission. This is literally them doing it. So uh, RL Tracker 100% is going to get replaced. You're going to be wanting to use their website if you need to look up. Hey, was that guy just played a Smurf or not? Most likely, yes. So kind of a cool update in that regard. Uh, they do have some career stats and stuff that they list in this in this blog post as well. I'll leave this in the description down below. So make sure you guys go check it out. Um, they also allow you to see previous seasons just like the other one. And then all the stats that they included, you can kind of check out. If you guys have used Tracker, you should be able to notice a lot of this stuff. Um, the only thing that um, I'm kind of iffy on this is I want to know what other kind of stuff they want to plan on implementing. Because if it is literally just taking the Tracker, it's like, guys, we've already kind of had that. It feels a little flat. Sure, it's cool to be like, hey, we're doing it now. Um, but what is something different that you guys are doing? Is there something that like maybe on this you could say, hey, look at all the titles this account has or something like like little things that the tracker doesn't have i think would be really cool um the rocket pass just showing the level for the rocket pass and stuff um is kind of dope i guess not that anybody really needs to know what your rocket pass level is um but i would like to see like inventory type display stuff or things that add value to the profile i don't know if they're going to do verified profiles or not or how that applies but um, something for them to consider. Again, it, it kind of takes me back to the OG forum days of SART BC back when that's where everything was communicated. And that's where everything was done. Maybe they can kind of go back to their origins and, and recreate the community there, but um, that might also feel like a step back. So overall, kind of a cool update. I think it's just a, a visual overhaul and kind of a cleaner way to see your match history. Um, pretty much every other game does that. So it is nice to see that implemented. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice to see just in general that Rocket League is kind of adding some stuff to the game that is not just cosmetic, car, spend money on this new McLaren type stuff. So again, hopefully more of these over the year. Hopefully 2025 sees a lot more updates like this. Um, but I think it still stems the initial issue. While these things are cool, it doesn't change the way the game is played. It doesn't change the interactivity. It doesn't change copy paste, A, B, Z, A, B, C, like straightforward We've been playing the same game for 10 years. And if you want to keep people engaged while these updates are nice, either they have to be super impactful, like the boost display one, where you can now make a better decision based on what your teammates boost is, or it needs to be something that is a new game mode, like a knockout bash type thing that gives us a reason to come in and play and try something different. Because if not, you're going to keep losing people. So that's kind of my, my last soapbox on that either way. That's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoy the content, as always, like, subscribe, notifications. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the new update when you get a check. To me, you're going to go in, you're going to see your match history and be like, nice. And that's going to be it. So either way, figured out an update you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.